Life advice, life advice, rr at gmail.com. Don't forget uh, Friday feedback submissions. Very good, a bunch of those. Friday feedback, rr at gmail.com. Very similar branding wise. Uh, we're going to do a longer life advice uh, because I ended up not doing an open and basically halfway through writing it out. I was like, I'm not even sure this is that good. Um, so we'll just do some extra life advices here. All right, let's start with a hot one. This one is called New Hire I Managed Saw Me Doing Coke. All right. Hello, Saruti, Kyle, Ryan, Muddled Stats, uh, whatever. 27, 6, 3, 195, bench eight times, eight reps at 245. I know it's just okay. I don't know. That's really good, man. Um, but uh, only lift two or three times a week last year or so because for now i'd rather spend more mornings at pilates studio with a 10 to 1 ratio until i lock down a fit girl with wealthy parents oh okay who does this come? guy yeah this guy <laughs> well i don't think he says that but um he has some goals he knows he knows what he wants for context i live in new york city and work at a hedge fund okay um head count We'll try to leave out some more details that he includes in here just to save him a bit. Uh, smaller fund, but um, not so small that we wouldn't care about rumors flying about. Uh, earlier this year, started managing a team of nine who had just three new hires back in June. It's a Friday night. I was out a bit at a raunchy club in Brooklyn. Nothing too crazy, just weird vibes and dancers and cages and lots of drugs. A group of friends, none of them who I work with. A girl I'm casually seeing works in fashion. This sounds like Bateman over here. Um, although that's Gosling's line in the big short. It's like, these aren't my friends. I hang out with fashion people. All right. So I can usually be confident I won't run into anybody when I go out with her and her friends. This guy sounds, I don't know. He sounds like he's got it pretty wired. Um, it's around 2 a.m. Wasn't drinking much. Was doing a lot of Coke. Not something I usually like to do. TBH. Uh, because I have a pretty addictive personality, but as long as I space it out a month or so apart and get to see it tested, it will partake. All right. Not quite sure. All right. Uh, I've been at the same spot for two hours. I get up to use the restroom. It was a bit hazy, but on the way back out, 20 feet away from our spot with a relatively clear view, I see a girl standing with two friends waving at me, and I immediately see uh, that one of the new hires who joined this summer. All right. I go over and say hello. I was in excited coke out mode for the first 15 seconds until I realized the situation and my anxiety settled myself down for another 15 seconds or just, hey, hope you're having a good night. I'll see you Monday. I get back to our table and was panicked for the rest of the night. Based on her tone and how she spoke, she had definitely seen me and knew I was there, but tried to indicate that she just noticed me walking by. So now it's morning in my direct report. Uh, at the very least, saw me in a very coked up state and the people I'm doing coke with and most likely saw me directly for a few hours. Additional context, I need to optimize this situation solely for making sure I keep my job until January. Our total compensation heavily is tied to bonuses and I'll have my normal one plus the bonus for my recent promotion coming in, which should be about $400,000. After that, it literally does not matter because I'm planning to dip and start an unrelated company of my own. The extra cash will help me live comfortably while I'm bootstrapping this for a few years. Secondary goal would be keep some relationships rep in case things go south and I want to return here three, four years down the road. But less important since I don't think I'd want to deal with this level of stress for a company that's not mine after 30. All right. Uh, extra context. And I know this is normal in some areas of the finance industry, but not at all at mine. So he's not really from one of the cokier hedge funds, I think is what he's telling us here. Much nerdier tech company like Vibe. If I got to someone in HR, um, might get drug tested. Not sure they're allowed to do that. Who knows? I need advice on how to proceed and handle the situation. Thus far, I see four potential options. Okay. Option one, ignore situation. Probably has decently high success rate, but boring. <laughs> but <Okay>. it's boring. <laughs> so you just said you wanted to, all right, okay. Can't wait for two, three, and four, but boring. And the girl I ran into is uh, both a bit of a nerd and seems friendly with a lot of the other hires across departments. So I feel like this is an exciting story for her to tell, which we quickly spread. I'm not worried about her going to HR or anything like that. More just so gossip getting around and eventually leading to someone who's an ass or has a bone to pick. Option two, take control of the narrative and gaslight. I think this is the best option. We have a morning stand-up with my small team, so Monday I go into it and mention how I ran into her, 
talking about how the girl I'm seeing ran into some of her other college friends and they dragged us there, how they get up to some unseemly activities that we'd never do. So we dipped out pretty soon after this could work. Maybe she was drunk and memory wasn't hundred percent or she wasn't there that long. If she saw me, we might still work as she might realize it's not something to talk about without saying anything directly. Option three, talk to her early Monday and hint that I'll be on her side as long as this doesn't come up to absolutely anyone. God, that's oh, in like so, a train. That's from like a training video. Come on. We've had right. to watch like what not to do. Come on. Right. Threaten her. Go ahead and cross um, that out. <laughs> <laughs> It's basically something that would screw me if it got spread and does not benefit her at all. And if anything, would have bad optics for her. So this would be telling her this. We have about a 50% cut rate after the first year. This causes a lot of anxiety with new hires. So I think basically saying that as long as you remain baseline competent, she is one of the better new hires I've seen. I won't let you go next year. Dude, don't even fucking know. This, this is the worst. What's four? If, if four is murder, we'll put this one behind it. <laughs> but um, basically saying as long as you remain baseline competent, she is one of the better new hires I've seen. I won't let you go next year, which go a long way in terms of making sure gossip doesn't spread. Could also generally hint at being able to get her a senior level promo sooner than normal. I honestly don't have that kind of influence, but would be gone before it mattered. <laughs> oh, my God. So promise her a promotion that you can't even give her and won't be around to help. Ugh. Let's just rule out option three. There's no way yeah. four is worse than three. Uh, option, option four, this one's kind of nuts, but has some potential. So I'm not going to make you turn your head and check me out, but I'm tall, fit, have a good face and hairline hasn't betrayed me. Tough to relate to. I know. Well, now you're just being an asshole. Yeah. Um, Damn, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, Jesus, this girl speaking generally, <laughs> this girl speaking generously is a four. I've also, everyone's going to hate this guy so yeah, much. Yeah, uh, are losing I've, the crowd. Right. You, you, the crowd is against you. I've also noticed her checking me out on numerous occasions in the office. I genuinely think if Monday I strike, a, I strike quickly and make it seem very casual, tell her she should kick it with me and my friends this weekend and hit it a small amount of interest. I could lead her on for a few months, then see her casually for a few months, then get to January and dip. <laughs> Dude. Your approval rating is going to be, it's going to be the lowest of, of an email we've read in a long time. This one has the biggest downside, but I'm so confident it would work out. Maybe I should, but I really don't feel that bad about this one. I think one, two, or three or some combination of these makes sense. The others out there, but I thought I'd include it just in case you think it has potential and know that I'm open to creative options. Uh, I, where do we start with this one? I guess we start with the advice part of it. Uh, there's a really good chance that, um, you know, whenever, like a lot of times <laughs> you need to think about how much other people are, aren't thinking about you. Okay. Like that's a pretty good rule of thumb, but like how much you're in your own head and most people it's not getting caught doing Coke in front of a new hire, but in life, in general, the number of times that you will spend time thinking that everybody else is thinking about you, like the, the ratio of that is so off because you're only thinking about you. You're not thinking about the 10 other people and all the stuff that takes up their day and is a priority. So yes, of course, there's a chance here. You're saying she blatantly saw you or did she see the group doing it? Were you guys out in the open? I mean, obviously some places in New York go pretty hard. Um, so you know, you're, let's just give you the benefit, well, benefit of the doubt. Maybe it's the wrong phrasing here, but just if if we go with you and agree that she did probably see you, I don't know. I mean, she was there too, right? So that's the other thing you have to remember. If it's a really weird kind of spot and you're young and you're in this world, it might not be the most shocking thing she's ever seen, right? So you've thought about this so much that you're probably wasting your time thinking about it this much. I mean, clearly option one is the one that makes the most sense. Just ignore it. I know you said it was boring, right? Go ahead, Kyle. 
I would number one is is easy, easily the option. I mean, the first thing is you're off the clock. It wasn't like, you know, she walked into your office like Michael Scott with his pants off and like you gotta be like, oh, we've got to discuss this now, right? It's like he was he was out and about. Like this is this really should never come up anyway. Uh, and like he said, he knows it's not gonna be HR, but I don't think it's a good move for a new person to start spreading shit around, you know, uh, to anybody that matters at least. I think I think the new person would know that. Like, it's not it's not the best idea to show up and be like, did you see what I saw fucking Johnny doing yesterday? Oh, my God. Like, you're going to be so out in, in so many circles above, like, the f- new higher circle. So I don't think that would happen. And uh, number four, if you were going to do option four, I would I'd propose four light. Like, maybe, like, hang out, but don't actually, like, no casual seeing her for whatever. You just be like, oh, he's like, he's like a guy at the company that would go, you know, out to a bar with me and not just see me out randomly. If you were like, you know, I just want to, I would like make some sort of like platonic relationship with this person if you're into that. Um, but like, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like go all out with the, you know, the, the, the stage two and stage three of, of option four, but like, I don't think there's anything wrong with, um, you know, going out to going out to a bar post work and, uh, you know, maybe you want to give her some, some of the eyes, you know, give her like a nice smile with long eyes and that's it. You know, she's just like, Oh, he's a, he's, he's a, he's a, he's kind of a good friend. I feel like he's on my side. Maybe I could talk to him about stuff. And also he's cute. And uh, he looked at me that one time, but like you could, you could end it there. There doesn't have to be a, a, a second and third phase to part four. If you were just like, I want to create some sort of relationship, like some sort of memory with this person besides, you know, seeing me at work and then seeing me coming out of the bathroom, you know, wiping my nose that one time. So I don't think there's anything wrong with four, but I think one should be, one should be the, the top, the top part of your plan. And if you wanted to go four, I'd go four light. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with you, Ryan. I think option one is always the right option. It's like, just do nothing. Likely you're in your own head, but I do think like be nice to her around the office. That's, that's just like an easy one to do. I mean, if you're not nice to her now, I don't make it like awkward where like be you've never nice. talked to her before in your life and now all of a sudden like yo like let's be buddies because then that's super weird don't do that but if you have like a casual relationship like your friend she's good she's like one of the better people i don't know make her feel her on your wing a little bit like just make you know just be awkwardly friendly but like hey just kind of take somebody under your wing kind of thing and i don't think she's gonna really grab on you so the option one to me is always the right option just kind of don't do anything and it'll probably die on them. but i, I you know i, I don't I don't advise anyone doing like some weird love affair for a couple of months because you're you're paranoid. Yeah, and again, it's not anything I have any experience with, and I didn't even realize like when I was still in my college town, like no one ever did coke in college. Okay, they, they just didn't, and Can't then it was it. like the no, no, it was like it was just an era thing. Like it mm. still was uncool, and then all of a sudden like some younger dudes were doing it and then got older guys were like, Hey, what's going on here? You know? And then like, I was still as has been covered still in town bartending. And then I, I, I was like bad at figuring it out. And like another bartender would be like, Oh, that guy's fucking out of his mind right now. And I'd be like, well, I don't know. I just seemed super alert and interested in everything I was saying. <laughs> and they'd be like, no, 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 no. So there's a good chance. The guy's locked in. Yeah. 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 Right. There's a good chance you had like a weird freak out because the drugs that you're on and it's kind of lingering. I mean, the same thing can happen when you drink too much and then yes. you're like replaying stuff and you're like, dude, none of this shit even like, what are you doing? Like, none of it matters. It doesn't nothing like there's not anything to you. You don't have to keep replaying it. So the whole let's address the crowd option of number two being like, hey. So gang, what's going on? <laughs> um, crazy, crazy. Just want to start, you know, glad the team is here, but let's, you know, the minutes, if we can get the minutes updated here, just uh, ran into <laughs> so-and-so and boy, was that a weird night, huh? You know, because then you're going to have to like figure out how you want to cover your tracks in this weird ass story that isn't really true, but sort of true. You're probably going to get some of it wrong. And then if somebody's really smart, they'll know. They're like, why is this guy bringing this up? And I don't know if the group, there's anyone seasoned enough in that group when you're younger, you're maybe not as, as experienced with certain things. Like I wouldn't have figured it out in my twenties. Later on, I would have gone like that guy just gave a speech because he's had the fucking mental weirds for a week about something that happened. <laughs> Life advice is brought to you by Modelo, the mark of a fighter. 